Aquarius, welcome to your sneak peek for 2022. I'm actually going to start off with a one big oracle card for you. I just randomly wanted to do it, but you have Lenormand on the table. We're going to go into the emotional aspects, the material aspects, usually focusing on career money and the spiritual aspects. Um, spiritual first, money, and then uh, love, okay? There will be an extended to this, and I'll break it down month to month, season to season, okay? Lots and lots of cards, so check that out if you're interested. But Aquarius, let's see. Ooh, taking risks. Taking risks, being more adventurous. Um, this is really about opening yourself up, you know? This tells me that you've been through a long journey. 2021 has been a journey of you learning things, what work, what doesn't work. And you now have a chance in 2022 to execute those changes or put them into action. Okay. Um, so now that you have this new energy, this new mindset, this new feeling, you can start putting it into interpretation for yourself. Okay. All right. So we're going to go with two main energies here before I break it off. Um, first, we have the ship, the man, and the whip. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah, in 2021, you definitely have been on a journey of self. Okay. Um, you've come away from a lot of um, constrictive thoughts, habits, feelings, things like that. Um, I, I feel like this is more of a separation of mindset to me. Okay. So 2022 is more of a focus on yourself, right? It's more of a focus on yourself and the way you look at things, your mindset. What is your mindset providing you? Are you getting the outcomes that you want? Or are you just holding on to like old ideas? You know, um, are you being too buttoned up? Are you not opening yourself up enough? Are you being fair to others? and Or are you only following your own, mm, your own ideals? You know what I mean? So are you learning <laughs> from your experiences is the, the bottom line. And then we have the writer, the tree, and the anchor. You know, this is a relationship situation. This could be a job as well. I feel like you're being offered something in 2022. And it feels very spontaneous at first. It feels very much out of sorts. Um, it's not what you expected. It's not what you planned to happen. Not what you planned on. So it's something that just comes toward you. And you have an opportunity to work on it throughout the year or to put the dedication in. It's interesting because I'm feeling like this dedication helps build a more solid connection, either with a career, um, trials of up and down trials, or um, a relationship. So it's helping build more. But it's more about you wanting to do it. And before you realize it, the effort that you're putting in to collaborate or connect with this person helps because you're getting through each little trial and tribulation to build something that's more solid and long lasting. Okay. All right. So let's start with spirit energy first. We have the Nine of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, Death, Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, this is a definitely about changing aspects of your life. 
I really feel like it has to do with mindsets. You know, um, this is like seeing that something isn't balancing right in your life seeing that things are out of sorts. And a lot of it is coming from you not being 100% happy, right? So this, don't get stuck in old ways and say to yourself, oh, this is how it's supposed to be. This is, I just have to keep going with this. I just have to keep pushing through this energy. Um, You have to realize that it does affect your environment and your environment it's conflicting with your energy, which is causing you to be unbalanced. You know, it's like one section of your life can be balanced and the other one is not. And you have to make decisions to bring both of those things together. I feel like it can be scary. I feel like it's something that you don't want to do. It's going to be one of those major lessons for 2022 for you, okay? You can't keep doing the same things. According to Hotmart.com, December 22, 2021, BRZ was a single Alexa off. I don't know why she started telling me about Subarus, but. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to take hard work for you to get over these biases. It's mostly like um, it's an inner conflict that you're going to go through, you know, thinking you don't want someone else to have control. You don't want to be tricked by your emotions. You don't want to be tricked by your environment. Right. But you got to figure out what makes you happy because I feel like you're going to you have and will stay in this energy that doesn't make you happy. You like you're overindulging in your opinions and your feelings. Um about a particular mindset. Like it's not, you're not allowing yourself to open up to different ones. So after a brief, I feel like there's a brief pause of you kind of feeling like things are imbalanced or feeling like something is truly off that that you have to, you don't have to, but you it pushes you more towards letting things go. Okay. Um, And you're going to think again about transforming a situation. But the main lesson is you're going to go through a heavy inner struggle to make some changes in your life. This is about building a solid tomorrow. You have to start somewhere. And it may seem like it'll take a long time. It may seem like it'll be difficult. But you do it for yourself. Okay. All right. Career money. Two of Cups, Queen of Wands, Page of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Temperance, Five of Cups. Okay, Patience. Patience, a lot of patience, a lot of waiting is the main theme. For your money and career. I feel like you're going to encounter. If you haven't already. The money situation. Or the job that's for you. Okay. It's something that gives you. A sense of freedom. Um, It allows you to. Be a boss. Okay. Um, It allows you to be a boss without the, without, there is responsibility, but not too much responsibility. You know, it feels like it's perfect for you, Aquarius, whatever this is. So it comes in to you. It makes you feel great. You're very confident about it. 
Um, I feel like there are some hard times and there are some good times. So it's a little bit of both, right? Um, there is going to be a little bit of patience with this uh, career move. I feel like um, it may have something to do with a friendship for those of you working or connected with a friend or a partnership that that there's going to be uh, a moment where there needs to be some sort of balance um, between the relationship and between work. Okay. But I do feel like things will work out in your favor um, because this, this job makes you feel good. Um, it, it, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you're prioritized. The work aspect is fine. I feel like there's the partnership aspect that needs to be worked on, but there is going to be balance between the two eventually in 2022. So it looks like you have to learn how to accept here. Yeah, your biggest transition, Aquarius, is a different change in mindset. So it's like you need to Mm, I don't know how to explain this, but it seems it feels like a sense of freedom. There was a sense of freedom or um, freedom or the, the emotional part is not going to be as intense in 2022. And you're going to learn how to accept that. And it's okay. It's about balance. It's about ba a work, friendship, work, life balance. But it all works out in your favor. You know, like you should be confident. It nurtures your ability to do other things or explore other activities or things that make you happy. Um, yeah, it's that's this is a hard one because there's a lot of things going on in here. I feel like there's a partnership involved here that there's a problem with balancing. Um, you're going to try to really balance it at the beginning. I'm trying to sum this up a little bit. Sorry, Aquarius. Uh, but I feel like uh, at first you're going to be really like um, fierce about it. But then the more you think about it, you learn to accept the situation for what it is. When you take so much of the emotion out of it and think of more of the financial aspect. Um. I see 2022 being more of you maintaining uh, your financial status. I am being happy where you are. Not saying that you don't have the opportunity to switch jobs, but I just feel like it's more about you be accepting where you are. So you're coming into 2022 with some issues when it comes to career money, right? And it has a lot to do with feeling um, stuck, angry, upset, fearful, any of those things that make you feel trapped, right? And you learn how to accept a situation for what it is. You know, it's like finding balance within that chaos that you can't control and learning how to move forward through the conflict, okay? All right, so Aquarius, let's get into your love. I guess that card wanted to come out, huh? Aggressively. <laughs> okay, so we have the star. The Eight of Swords, the Three of Cups, oh Lord, the Lovers, Ace of Cups, Two of Swords.
Okay, for those of you when, if you're single, when you're single, I see an opportunity for a new relationship, okay? And whoever this person is, I feel like um, you never thought that it was going to go anywhere. You never thought that the situation would heal. You never thought that things would get better. But someone makes a decision based solely on love, the raw the rawness feeling of the energetic pull, push and pull of love. I mean, like that raw, right? They're not thinking about what others think. They're not thinking about uh, left or right. It could be you as well. This is a person that's just like, you know what? I love this person. I want to be with them. I'm not sure if they care about me back. I'm not sure if this is going to heal. I'm not sure if this is going to work out, but I don't care. Okay. Um, and someone comes in with this idea of love that is just, you're my soulmate. I want to be with you. You're everything I dreamed about. Um, but there's a little hesitancy in the other person. Okay. And it, it has to do with a lot of being stuck in your head about your own issues, your own situations. Um, you may have had some not so ideal situations happen to you and you just given up on the idea of love or the idea of anything. You know, it's kind of like you've been going on your own journey and you've been face first looking at what's in front of you. You're not really thinking about love that's off on one of the side streets. Um, but I feel like you're going to be presented with it. It's almost like you put someone on hold though. I feel like this person's going to be in your life. I don't think that they're going to run away. But it's like you put them on hold. Hmm. You put them on hold to deal with what it is you have to deal with. It's that feeling of like, I don't have time to pursue pleasure. I don't have time to be happy because I got things to do. It could already be that you're stuck in some sort of predicament where you're already in a relationship. You're already set up with someone else. You're already deciding to go on some sort of trip. And then this person comes along and you're like, well, I got to go. And they're, but they're waiting on you. You know, you're like, I need, I want, I wanted to go on this trip to clear my mind and see if I was ready for love. And then you came about, but you have to wait until I come back <laughs> so I can give you my um, answer, you know, something like that. But I feel like you have other things to think about when it comes to your emotions and someone's being very understanding about that aspect. So that's good. Some of you may find out about a third party situation um, after you tried to rekindle with someone or this could be vice versa and you don't say anything just yet. And it has a lot to do with you. You almost feel a little guilty for creating a situation where you wouldn't allow the relationship to heal or do better. This, this could be the other person as well. And then this is like deciding that I want to try to work it out. But being stuck in some sort of situation. Some of you are going to be dealing with someone that's in a hopeless relationship. But they found love with you and you got to wait, see what's going to happen. There's lots and lots of uh, scenarios here, but I'll stop it there. Because I, I will say this all in all, Aquarius, I feel like someone's coming into your life while you're on this particular journey of what it is that you deserve, what it is that you want, what is balanced, what's going to last, right? Um, and then someone comes in and you have to decide the best moves to make, you know? Um, this is really a time for you to look into the gray area. There are different aspects to this. There's different feelings. Yeah, but the full card is like the energy, you know, 
it, there's a lot. I feel like there's a lot of things happening for you to take different risks, to try different things, to expand your mind, to explore. You know. All right. So, if you want the extended, check the link link in the description box below. If not, I will see you later. Have a wonderful 2022, and I will see you there. Bye bye, Aquarius. <laughs>